Hey guys, it's Courtney and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm just going to be giving you guys life updates, what's been going on with me, why I took a break from YouTube for so long and we're just going to catch up. So if you guys have been dying to see a makeup routine or just a makeup tutorial in general, here it is. Um, so yeah, let's get started. All right, so um, in this video, I am going to be using a few products that I mentioned in my Ulta haul. So some of these products will be new that I'll be trying out. And we're also just going to chit chat. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Impossible Primer Base. I haven't used this for a while. And I'm just going to get that all in my T-zone. I really like this primer. It has like a cooling effect on my skin. Okay, so where have I been? Um, Living in my skin. I've just been really busy. I, I, I started school again, so that in itself has been crazy. I moved, I've been working from home, but I've been really busy. I'm in sales, so it's really stressful and I work long hours. So that's kind of why I took a break from YouTube. I just had to kind of get a routine going because I was very overwhelmed. And it's just funny because when I came back to YouTube, I hit y'all with a colon cleanse video, which was really random. And then I hit you guys with an Ulta haul, but I didn't actually give you an explanation on where I've been. So I'm gonna take this Ben Nye Corrector in Burnt Orange. This stuff is intense. So if you are somebody with really bad dark circles or hyperpigmentation, Definitely try this out, but a little goes a very long way. I had really good engagement on my channel. I was being really consistent with my uploads. You see what I mean? This stuff is really intense. But um, yeah, I just needed some time to kind of like figure things out. I also got a new camera, so I hope you guys can tell the difference with like the quality and the audio because I got a mic now. Um, but yeah, it, it's been pretty crazy. This is looking Oopma Loompa orange, but this stuff really works like because I don't know I haven't been getting sleep and these dark circles are a hot mess and this really has been helping to cover it up. All right, now that I look insane, I'm gonna take some Tarte concealer, the Shape Tape concealer, and then just kind of go over the orange a little bit. For eyes, we're gonna use the Morphe 35D Desert Bouquet. I don't know why I say desert. It's, oh, it is desert. I think on my last video, I said dessert. Nobody called me out on it, so. I might've used too much color corrector because I'm still looking a little orange, but it's fine. We are gonna cover that up with full coverage foundation anyway. So this is the 35D palette by Morphe, and I'm gonna take a swing at some of these shades. Yeah, we gonna stick to these warm shades over here for today. But first, let me go ahead and prime my eyes with some eyeshadow base. All right, so the eyeshadow base is in place. Now we're gonna go in with this Morphe palette. But back to what I was saying earlier, working from home has its pros and it also has its cons. Like it is a blessing, don't get me wrong, to not have to waste gas and drive somewhere or even get out of my pajamas. But the downside to that is it's just a lot more draining. Like I work in sales, so I get back-to-back -back calls all day long and you know, talking to people over the phone can be mentally draining. Uh, I felt like I was just more productive when I was driving to work every day. If you work from home, comment down below and tell me if you like it or if you would prefer to go back to the office. I am torn. I feel like I've been blending one of these colors for the longest and I don't really see much of a difference, so I'm just gonna move on and use a different color. Because I'm working from home, my husband felt it would be best to just move to an area that's closer to his job, just so he doesn't have a long commute. So that's why we decided to move. And the new place is beautiful, it's very, uh, it's brand new. The only downside is it's a little bit smaller than the previous place we lived in and we're still sharing a space 
where I do videos and he does his thing on his side. Even though it's smaller, I still think it's a little bit more relaxing. It's not as chaotic as my previous place because I had some really crazy neighbors who were psychotic. I used to call them the ghouls because they never came out to the house most of the time, but they were always complaining that we were making noise. And I'm like, we don't throw parties. We don't play music. What are you complaining about? See this color I'm feeling. This color is actually pretty and I can see a difference. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a deeper reddish brown in my crease. If anybody is interested, I will have a list of the products that I use in the description box, just in case this look end up turning out decent. I don't really know where I'm, what I'm going for right now. So far, the eyeshadow palette, the colors are pretty cool. Like they're blending out nicely now that I'm into the darker shades. But you know, uh, this palette isn't really like anything special. I'm not super blown away yet. I don't know, just like meh. But what do you guys want to see next? Um, I really want to do a shop my stash video because I haven't, I should have done this like months ago and I still haven't gotten around to it. So I definitely want to do that soon. Um, and I also want to just do different videos in general, like maybe vlogs and, um, you know, just trying out different things. I actually did a hydrofacial a few months ago and I filmed it. So I want to share that video with you guys. There's a few funny videos that I want to share with you guys and create. So I have a lot in store for this channel. I just, I have too many ideas and I'm trying to figure out a way to execute them. So now we're going to cut the crease. I haven't cut the crease in some few months, so I'm hoping this doesn't turn into a disaster. If there's anybody who does work from home or just in general, do y'all ever get on camera when y'all have to do those little like morning meetings? I don't. My camera is always off. As long as you can hear my voice, and you can see my name on the screen, I should be good enough. Unless you want to see me look like Gollum in the morning, you don't need to see me on camera at 8 a.m. Yeah, I am definitely rusty with my eye makeup skills. Yeah, hold on one moment. All right, so the eyes are looking much better. It just took a little bit more blending and shaping. Um, and I changed the color of my lights to a bit of a warmer tinge because I was looking a tad bit washed out. What I'm gonna do next is go in with a little bit more of this warm tone brown and then we're gonna focus on the center of the lids and then hit the complexion. Back to what I was saying, yeah, week has been pretty stressful. I do have a few customers that can be extremely toxic but that is the name of the sales game. All right, for my lid, I might take this Pinch Me Peachy color. It's like an eye topper from J-Cat Beauty. Ooh, I don't know about this color either. It's not giving what I want it to give. One second. Okay, so I decided to take this e.l.f. Meteor um, liquid eyeshadow and use this on my lid. I actually used this for my makeup in my last video and I really love the quality of this. Now I wanna get more colors from this uh, collection just to see if I like any of the other ones they came out with. But it's pretty, it's a bronzy color. Okay, so I did my eyeliner and lashes off camera, but now we're gonna go in with foundation because I'm tired of looking orange. So I'm gonna take my Born This Way 24 Hour Matte Foundation and my NARS Soft Matte and mix them together. And I've actually been loving this combination. I just feel like it makes my skin look flawless. Uh, how have you guys been doing? Anybody get any promotion, starting school? I know it's back to school. Are you guys excited? Because we are about to be in fall. I love fall. I think it's my favorite season out of all the seasons. 
I just love the leaves changing colors and then the fall decor is always so pretty. Fall will always be my favorite. I always take a brush and just blend out the edges just in case I miss something with the beauty blender. So now we're gonna try this Morphe Hide and Peak Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Peak of Golden. Just in case this doesn't work out, I do have my Forever Skin Dior Concealer, just in case. All right. All right, I'm gonna blend one at a time because I'm a little nervous about this. Okay. So I thought it was full of coverage, but it actually blended out pretty, um, looks like it's a little more transparent now that it's blended out. Hmm. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let me just, at least the color isn't crazy light like I thought it was going to be. I'm actually going to use a brush, see if I have a better outcome okay now it just looks patchy i am not feeling this concealer the brush just made it look worse so we gonna stick to the beauty blender i might as well just do the other side just so we don't look crazy All right, y'all, what do you guys think about the concealer? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. We're just gonna move on to powder and contour and blush. So for highlighting powder, I'm taking my Laura Mercier Honey Powder, and I always mix a little bit of my Yellow Ben Nye Powder with it. And we're just, we're just going to, not really bake, because I don't bake, we just gonna set this thing. And then I'm just gonna dust away this excess powder. Maybe it's just like the color of the concealer that's kind of throwing me off. Once, if I go a shade um, is it up or down? If I get a darker shade, I think it might be all right. All right, so for contour, I don't know why I put my highlighting powder on without doing this first, but I'm gonna use my Matchstick by Fenty Beauty in the shade Espresso. Just to give me those, see this? <laughs> It's, it's a magnet in here, which is annoying. So when I do my contour, it always kind of attaches to my earring. So if y'all didn't know that, it is a magnet in this. So be careful so you don't pull your earlobe off. All right, so now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty um, Coco Naughty bronzer. I love this bronzer. I am feeling this look, but I do feel like I'm kind of missing like those dramatic colorful looks I used to do. So I definitely want to do something like that soon on my channel. All for nose contouring, I really like to use my Morphe Trailblazer bronzer. And I'm gonna take this Angle Morphe E62 brush. Just to round up the nose a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this setting powder and then I'm just going to kind of carve out my cheeks even more so my contour and bronzer can pop. While that's marinating, I'm gonna take a blush. Now, I don't know if I should use this one or this orange blush. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think this one looks like it'll go better with the look. 
And this orange blush kind of scares me. It looks really intense. This is pigmented. Jeez, oh my gosh, I use too much. I use too much. So let me just dust off that powder and we're going to try to like tone down this blush a little bit because for highlighter I'm going to use this Revolution Glow Ring Light Highlighter. It is so beautiful. Ugh. It gives you like the perfect golden sun kiss glow. And I'm just gonna take my Anastasia highlighter brush. Ooh, look at that. I mean, girl, this highlighter is so freaking beautiful. So I'm just gonna tone this down first. And why not? Let's pop a little bit of this in the inner corner of the eye. I am feeling the look. So before I put on my setting mist, I need to set the rest of my face with a powder. And I'm gonna use this Kosas uh, Cloud Set Silky Powder. This is like my favorite uh, setting powder at the moment because it just makes your skin look super flawless. And you don't need a lot either. All right, time to set. And I only set the sides in my face. I don't really like to set the center. So for lips, I actually have this Dose of Color uh, Lip Trio. It has a liquid matte, a gloss, and then a velvet mousse. And it also came with a cork lip liner. It's called their Cork Trio. Um, it's brown girl friendly, so if you are someone who has warm to deep skin this is going to be the perfect collection for a nude lip so that's why i bought it um i think when i last checked they have it on sale i don't know if it's still in stock yet but i just love these colors now i don't know what i'm gonna use first but i am gonna line my lips real quick i love this lip liner it's so pretty all right so i suck at lining my lips so if i'm quiet y'all just Go with the flow. All right, this is obviously not the best, but like I said, I suck at lining my lips. Okay, so I don't know what color I should use. Um, all right, let's go with the matte. And then I'm gonna put this gloss over top because my lips look crusty. All right, guys, so. What do we think of the look? I actually really like the eyes. I love the highlighter. I love the lip as well. It's a little bit warmer. It's a little bit darker than I anticipated, but I still think it's a really beautiful color. All right, but that is pretty much it for today's Get Ready With Me. I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been up to, and please feel free to like this video if you like how the way the makeup look came out and you are excited for more content on my channel. And as usual, if you're not already subscribed and you made it all the way to this point, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys soon. All right, have a good weekend. Bye.